Right guys, welcome. Uh, my name is Anthony Cummings and what I'm doing is I'm going to chat, start a short series of videos on uh, Ninja Principles. Um, because, so sort of like, to extract, we've been talking about principles versus skills with, you know, the addition of physical ability. So um, what I'm going to do is, this is the first one and I'm going to quickly go through some of the skills. I'll try to make the video short but often I generally waffle on. So um, we're going to, for the, for the first few videos, we're going to be using the new book, which is uh, Eager and Cobra. Uh, Ninja Skills, The Secret Scrolls of Chikamatsu Ishikinori. These scrolls were written in about 1719 and later in the later 1700s there was a remake of some of them. So um, we're going to go through that. Now the first one I want to do is actually um, I'm going to deal with the, the origin of the ninja. I'm going to try and pull out the principles of the origin of the ninja. So first of all I'm going to read to you from the scroll. Um, da -da -da. Right, it says, uh, Shinobi no Kunden. The traditions of the meaning of the ideogram shinobi, that's the blade and the heart one. So it says, Koka traditions say, now remember this is 1700. The ideogram is called shinobi because they act in secret, i.e. shinobi, and they are, away, they are away from the eyes and ears. Now, what you've got to remember is that, um, it's not very deep this, but the, the point here is that the, the ideogram heart, the character for shinobi, actually means um, secret sometimes, it means to be hidden, to be secret and this means that anybody who is secret is Shinobi no Mono, a man of secrets, person from secrets but of course the uh, uh, eager tradition says when you make a thing that you have in your hand a deep secret it's called Shinobi so this means the principle of ninjutsu underlying everything is secrecy Without secrecy, the shinobi do not exist. Yeah? Even down, they complain in the uh, 1700s about having to put uh, their spending in the accounts. It's like if we have to put what we spend in the accounts, our plans are, can be seen by anyone who has the account. So um, the concept is secrecy. However, it then goes on to say um, the deepest secrets of traditions of Koka say that shinobi is from the ideogram kanni, which means patience. Thus it is called shinobi because the skills of the shinobi are skills you need to endure the unendurable or any difficulties or hardships that are imaginable. Those who follow this path should think uh, of what the, the name of their profession truly means. If you keep this in mind at all times you'll be able to complete shinobi missions and distinguish yourself. I, Shigenori, say the point taken from the deepest secret traditions above is entirely appropriate. What that means is, um, basically, endurance to you guys and to me is totally different to endurance in the medieval period. Endurance to a shinobi is beyond dreaming of what we can think of, uh, like burning yourself alive, uh, committing suicide. Uh, I've just read an amazing quote from 1620 about um, uh, a shinobi, it maybe he was or wasn't a professional shinobi, but bit off his tongue in the service of his lord to create... Um, some of that, you'll, you'll read it in one of my books again, it's amazing. But the point here, the principle is secrecy and endurance. Okay? Um, it's easy to say these words, but it's difficult to actually bring what they mean. So secrecy and endurance is something you should set. Maybe get some posters, put them all. Secrecy and endurance, they're the main points of ninjutsu.